Okay, hello and welcome. I'm Bio, and today we're playing another PlayStation 2 random. This time around it is Top Gear Daredevil. So yeah, this is what came up when I spun the wheel. Uh, developed by Papaya Studio, published by Chemco, and released in December 2000. Now, I'm not too familiar with the Top Gear racing series. I'm only, I only know like the TV program. I'm honest with you. And that's about it. But it seems to have a quite, a, 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 you know, had quite a lot of games in the series, and at least until the final game came out in 2004. But yeah. Which is fair enough. Obviously, I'm more familiar with the Top Gear TV show. I didn't watch much of the Top Gear TV show, but I'm more familiar with that than I am this, but... I don't know when the Top Gear TV show came out. If I'm honest with you, because <clears throat> it wouldn't surprise me if like uh, this game, like this series, had to come to an end because the the because I'm pretty sure the term Top Gear is copyrighted now. So I don't think it's a term that you could probably use for a video game series anymore. So it wouldn't surprise me if that's the reason why the the series just kind of went. <laughs> but you never know. Anyway, let's give this game a go. I assume this obviously this is more of a stunt racing kind of game. Well, that was quite a long intro, wasn't it? Featuring, obviously, a um, mini. So, who makes the minis? I, think it's, I don't know. I can't try and think who makes minis. You should know that. You're British. Doesn't mean I know minis, does it? Um, free roam or single player? I'm curious about the free roam. Okay, so we have four places you can go at, starting with Rome. Let's do the little bit of free roam. Okay, we can do different missions. So let's do mission one. The pod. Okay. I guess we have the pod as the only car we can use. I thought we would like have a mini to use, but I guess not. I have had a go with this car before, in all fairness. I think I had a go with this car in one of the Forza games. I think I bought it for cheap, just to piss about in it. Oh god. Oh, y y yes, knock. Goodbye, citizen! Get off the road! It's my road! I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh god, this turns like... This turns horrendously. Oh god, yes. Eat the wall. It's what we want. Oh, yep, smash that. Goodbye, taxi man. Get off the road! No one wants you on the road with your Renault Clio. Get out of here. Get off the road! Yes, destroy everything! Get off! <laughs> There's no way this car could do this. I'm having more fun just going... <laughs> just smashing into things. Um, texture, tex the texturing on my car is pretty good. Obviously, on other cars, not so much. But the environment looks all right. The, like it controls fine. I think it's just this car. In all fairness, if the, it, the turning's p bad only because it's this car, it makes sense because the turning in this car actually is terrible. I like how I though, if I get a certain angle with this car hitting another car, it completely and utterly obliterates it. Boom! Boom! Like. Is that police? Yes, it is. All oh, my word. Well, we are in Rome, in all fairness. Okay. I'm going to quit to the clubhouse, because I don't actually know what it wants me to do. I'm a bit confused. So let's try the single player for a second and just see what we get. Which is mission one. Yeah, okay. Unfortunately, we can only use the pod, which sucks, because it is probably the worst car in the game. And understandably so, it is the pod. I know the car it's based off of. I don't know the name uh, completely, but... Oh, was this supposed to be what I was supposed to be doing? I swear it was blank, the blue thing. On the other one. 
Collect 16 of the 20 coins in this stage and return to the end zone before the time runs out. Extra pickup. Okay, so that's what we're supposed to Just collect coins. Okay. It's reasonable. And you get points for crashing. This way? Yeah, we can go this way. You get points for crashing into things, which is cool, I guess. Can't do this too fast, because this car turns terribly. If we crash, it's going to just waste us a load of time. So is this what the game is? Just... Obviously, if I could just smash them out of the way. Oh, I missed a coin there. Back. Well, we got the coin. Get out of my way! Well, it's pretty easy for a first mission, I guess. You get a little lag spike here and there, but it's fine. But yeah, I think really more than anything. Get off of the road! No one wanted you here! Oh god. I'm going to be honest with you though. I know why they picked this car. Again, if we're starting in Rome, it makes sense, right? We didn't really need to pick that other power up. There we go. It makes sense, because this is obviously an Italian car. But holy hell, does it control horribly. New high score. Aren't I, a aren't I a lucky chappy? Congratulations, the geezer's keys received. The geese keys received. So, does that mean I've unlocked a new car? Not too sure. Ah, the geese! Beautiful, that's... Yeah, I want that car. We'll do one more mission. But it seems reasonable. Like, again, I guess you do these challenges every now and then. There's obviously going to be... Collect 16 of the 20 coins in the stage and return to the end zone. Yeah, same stuff again. Wouldn't surprise me if that's just generally most of the game. With the odd, like... Thing here and there that you can do. Oh, God. Get out of my way. Oh, get shrecked. Get shrecked, boy. Um. Get out of me, way. But yeah, seems reasonable. I'm guessing like my car can get damaged because there's these like little like repair things or something scattered around. I'm not too certain though. Missed some of the coins there, but I don't think we really need them. Alright, we got a key. Not a clue what the key is. Not a Scooby Doo. But yeah, like I said, this car could, does could actually control better, don't get me wrong, than the other car. Just helps me get up the hill. That's what that's all it is there for. Right, so we've gotten but we might as well go back for the other other ones, because I think there was... Yeah, see. Might as well go back and get the others. Oh, but that's going to waste time. Not really. Maybe because... There's plenty of clocks around. Oh, God. Yeah, I will admit, the turning could be a little bit more reasonable. 
just a little bit. Like there, it's like the car just didn't even bother turning. It's just like, yeah, no, I ain't turning. Screw that. Like there, like, what was that about? What? No, not gonna turn? Okay. I'm glad it at least shows you where the green zone is. That was a little bit strange, but okay then. <laughs> New high score. Peanut keys. All right, let's just have a look. So each mission we do, we unlock a new car. Let's see what this new car looks like, and then I think we'll stop playing. So yeah, very basic kind of game, but it's fine. You know, if you pick this up as like a... Uh, oh, okay, there we go. There's the Mini. So the Mini is a peanut. Yeah, I think if you pick this up, it even has credits four on there. So that's interesting, like four lives. Um, I think if you pick this game up for cheap, um, I think as a budget kind of stunt... We're not really stunt racing, but as, like, race around, collecting stuff, racing, collectathon. I don't know what you would call it. I think it would be fine. So, but anyway, I think I'll call it there. Um, I've been Bio. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.